Welcome back to Ireland AM and to Kilkenny City. We're here at the Rivercourt Hotel all morning chatting to local businesses about how this year has been different for them. And I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by Colin O'Hearn, who is the president of the Kilkenny Chamber of Commerce and general manager of the lovely Ormond Hotel in Kilkenny. Good morning, Colin. How are you? Good morning, Simon, and very welcome back to Kilkenny. It's beautiful it's morning. It is a gorgeous morning. Thank you for organising the sunshine and the uh, very warm temperatures, Colin. Fair play to you. Sunny South East. Listen, let's talk about uh, this year, a strange year for everybody. How has it been for businesses in Kilkenny this year? Look, Simon, Kilkenny's renowned as a, you know, a, a really, really good tourism and, and, and retail destination. And those two sectors in particular have been really, re, really hit by the pandemic. Yeah. From a hospitality point of view, um, the challenge right now uh, is different to the summertime. It, it's getting the message out that they were open and it's safe to visit our premises. Um, but also from a retail point of view, Kilkenny is a really important retail destination in the southeast. Yeah. We're home to the Craft Council of Ireland, um, just ju- just behind us there. And there's over 200 stores uh, in our city within a brands in our city within a 10 minute walk. So uh, it's hugely important. And the chamber and the local authority and the local enterprise office are working really closely together to try and support businesses at this point. So what are you guys specifically doing in terms of your position at the Chamber of Commerce? How are you helping businesses? What what are they asking you for? What help do they need this year? Well, in terms of support, it's really important that we're lobbying government, uh, informing them of what our members need. You're going to be meeting some of our members, uh, some of our member businesses over over the course of the morning. And to be honest, we could have had another 20 businesses here um, who have innovated and done a fantastic job over over the last nine months. But what the Chamber are doing is working with the local authority and the County Council, developing public spaces for people to sit outside comfortably, widening the footpaths, ensuring that Kenny is a safe, uh, safe safely controlled, accessible place to be. But also, more importantly, one of of the most um, vital things that we're doing is uh, is selling and promoting uh, the Kilkenny gift voucher. Um, And that's keeping money in Kilkenny. Uh, the, The gift voucher is available to buy through the Kilkenny Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, tell us about the Kilkenny vouchers. That's a very clever scheme that you guys have come up with. Tell us about that. Yeah, so look, it, it, it's uh, we, like I said, we've over 150 businesses. There are more. There are more businesses um, available to, to, to the purchase of this voucher than there are to the other well-known vouchers yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah. that are out there. Yeah. Um, normally, we would sell somewhere in the region of 100,000 euros worth of vouchers, and that stays in Kilkenny. Yeah. Um, but this year, because of all the work that's been done by the local enterprise office, by the chamber, and by the by the local authority, we're on course to sell over a quarter of a million wor- wow. worth. Of vouchers and in December, January and February all that money is going to stay in Kilkenny mm. and support local businesses. I love living in Kilkenny. I yeah. want my children to have the same opportunity should they, should yeah. they wish to do so and to do that we need a vibrant local economy. I know myself from coming down here every year on and off for the past 10 years with, with the family that the one thing I always notice when you're walking around the city be it in the spring, the summer or the autumn it's always busy. There's always a bustle about the place. Because as you say, it has the, the, the name for being a festival town as well. Doesn't it? There's always something going on here. It must have been very different this year than when the streets were empty. <clears throat> It was, it was, but we all know that what we have is not going to go away. Yeah. And what we want, what all the businesses in Kilkenny did was get together and ensure that when we're, when we're open, as we are now, yeah. and when we are open and when people are ready to come back, that we have a safe and controlled environment for people to do so. Um, you know, it, it's, it's Kilke- like, like, like I said, Kilkenny is renowned as a festival destination. We have a brand new festival, Kil- Kilkenny Animated, <coughs> that, uh, that, that, that celebrated uh, Wolf Walkers, the brand new uh, cartoon saloon movie that's yeah. available. Apple TV now and and that's fantastic but we're also renowned for the great festivals that have been there over the years like the Kenny Cat Laughs Uh, which is which is a, a world-renowned comedy festival. Um, we have we have fantastic restaurants and bars. We have more Michelin star restaurants per capita <laughs> than everywhere else in Europe, with the exception of San Sebastian. Right. We are. We have, we're renowned for our hospitality and we also have um, we, we, we are also perennial winners of Tidy Town and Eyeball and, and, and Anti Little Works. So, so we are. Kilkenny is without doubt the friendliest, the funniest, the tastiest and tidiest town in Ireland. You should be working for the tourist board, but hang on a minute. Yeah. Colin, a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks Thank so you, much. Um, I'm going to move over here now and talk to one of those businesses that uh, Colin was talking about. And Barbara, good morning. Good you morning, own the Simon. gorgeous butter slip shop, which is just behind I do indeed, us here, you can see it from here. First of all, tell us about the shop, what you guys have yeah. on offer. So we're a really colourful, pretty, eclectic gift shop right in the heart of Kilkenny here. So you can see we've got everything from beautiful wooden toys, uh, sparkly jewellery, bags, accessories. So it's kind of a one-stop shop for gorgeous gifting. It's a stop that my wife and sisters have frequented quite I often on our it. trips down here. <laughs> in terms of this year then, Anne, yeah. what... 
what was the year like, first of all, for you guys? A similar picture all across the country? Yeah, a similar picture for everybody, I guess. Yeah. We were lucky, we were in a really good position in that we had just developed a really a brand new website last year with the help yeah. of the local authority. So we were able to hit the ground running. When the shop closed, we started getting messages from customers near and far, looking to send a bit of love to, yeah. to loved ones, to sisters who had a baby, to their mother, to somebody who they wanted to cheer up. And really we got straight into action and we found we were sending little bundles of joy and uh, parcels right across the sending country. A just smile across sending the country. a smile across the country. But you, you, were, you were lucky in terms of that you already had the website set up because I'd imagine a lot of businesses were kind of caught on the hop, they didn't require a website up until March up of until this year. Now, yes. So you were kind of a, we were in that like, frame of mind. Absolutely, we've always had a web presence, um, but for us it's been a bit of a side dish, whereas obviously this year it came to the fore and it yeah. was our main business. Yeah. Um, then we opened in the summer and that was brilliant, Kilkenny was buzzing, yeah. and but we knew we were obviously going to close again, so we were ready yeah. to go and tell everybody, we're online, we can get you Christmas gifts to you, it's not a problem, we'll have so everything wrapped. So what does wrapped. Christmas look for, look for you in terms of the shop? Uh, well, at the moment it's buzzing. Busy. Yeah, yeah, Kilkenny is fabulous. Colin was just talking about yeah. everything that's done in, in the public realm here. And yeah. it's a beautiful city to visit and to walk around, to grab a bite to eat. Lots of wonderful independent shops. Um, so and in terms of yeah. looking ahead then, and to 2021, in terms of your own business, what, what does it look like in 2021? How far ahead can you plan? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm very uh, optimistic. And I think we're going to come out of this smiling. Um, this year has shown us how much we can do online yeah. and we're looking to expand that next year. Okay. Our store in Kilkenny is always going to be our main focus, welcoming people there with a smile, but we can also deliver that smile to you anywhere you are in the country. So there's a great sales pitch there, delivering a smile anywhere in the country. <laughs> and it's just across the bridge so here. You can actually see it from here. It's all lit up and pretty and uh, you can hop across there in a minute and get your presents. Well, listen, continued success. It's a gorgeous shop and we'll be down to visit you soon. Thank you, Thanks, Simon. Anne. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, but first we're going to uh, have a little video from another local business based here in Kilkenny. Hello, my name is Barone Clear. I'm from Clear Life and Pensions based in Kilkenny. For the month of January 2021, we're offering all our clients a free consultation in regards to life and pensions and their mortgages. So at least we can see, can we offer uh, savings for all our clients in relation to those products. It's an idea time to start regular saver plans for educational purposes. We also have discounts with all the local lenders in regard to life policies and serious in this cover. So please contact our website on www.clearlife.ie or mobile or phone number on 056 772 Thank you.